Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Kelly. Does the president of Congress, Secretary Acosta, tweeted that Alex Acosta, the the agreement that he struck was unconscionable and that he needs to step down. A couple questions for you. Does the White House believe that plea agreement that Acosta struck was indeed unconscionable? And does he enjoy the support of the president? Well, first, point? let me just deal with Nancy Pelosi and her tweet, which I haven't seen, but I'm not surprised. Uh, it's classic her and her Democratic Party to not focus on the perpetrator at hand and instead to focus on a member of the Trump administration. They're so obsessed with this president that uh, they immediately go to Alex Acosta rather than Jeffrey Epstein. As far as I can see, Jeffrey Epstein is the one who allegedly, but allegedly, it sure looks like strong evidence to me, um, is touching, if not raping, young girls. We'll see what the evidence provides. But uh, it, these these charges, as Jeffrey Berman said in New York yesterday, are unconscionable. Uh, they shock the conscience. They do for me. You don't have to have a teenage daughter to feel uh, that pigs who touch young girls as such children Touching children is that should rot in hell, but it sure helps to have a teenage daughter and feel that way. Uh, and now, for uh, the, I talked to the president this morning. He hasn't talked to or had contact with Epstein in years and years and years, and uh, over a decade at least, he said. And he met Alex Acosta when Alex applied and got the job, where he's doing a great job. I mean, look at the economy. So I know everybody. You want to revisit what happened in Florida? New York is has applied fresh charges to Jeffrey Epstein because they have a right to do that. And uh, and I, I hope we're all paying attention to who the true perpetrator is here. So, Alex, what frustration is that he's on to thin ice? Quickly enough. The president told me this morning he hasn't talked to Epstein. He doesn't think he's talked to him or seen him in 10 or 15 years. Uh, and he, like everyone else, sees these charges, the description of these charges against Epstein as uh, completely unconscionable and obviously criminal, disgusting. Uh, really, and so, and I, I know, I think, I think some of your networks, frankly, and irresponsibly, if I may say, respectfully, are saying Jeffrey Epstein charged for sex trafficking or raping minors, and you have a picture of Alex Acosta. So let's at least get the pictures right. Of course, as a mother and as somebody who has neurons in her brain, is how I'm going to answer you. No, 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 I know where your question's going, but you already said something that's not true. Jeffrey Epstein is the one raping young girls. And it looks like some of the people who worked for him may, of course, be accessories to that or luring them in, paying young girls to find other young girls to traffic them. I mean, it's completely disgusting. Can we all agree who the perpetrator is here, who's behind bars? No one's suggesting Acosta is the perpetrator, but is it acceptable? You're, you're asking all your questions are about him and not the guy who's raping young but girls. Kellyanne, he's in the cabinet. Is this OK? Does the president? Is what OK? You have to have a more specific question. You can't just throw out clauses. Does the president still have confidence in Acosta, given his role in the secret plea the, deal? The president, what secret plea deal? It's not a secret. The one yeah, that was no negotiated at the it's time. It's not a secret that the man went to jail. It means that Jeffrey Epstein would like, not have been on the street. The president uh, has made very clear the way he feels about the comments made by the um, UK ambassador to the US. And I think the president also yesterday commented on the president's view on how Brexit should have been handled. Many people accused the president of meddling and it was none of his business, but it turns out he was right. Uh, and I know he's had a good working relationship with Prime Minister May, but the president expressed his opinion as somebody who also won an election based on shaking up the system and giving more freedom back to the people. And, and of course, you know, he feels the way he has. But you should look at the president's tweets. Uh, my conversation with the president just this morning about that entire situation is very reflective of the tweets Kellyanne. he Kellyanne. sent out yesterday. Or in, in a plane and in France and coming back to be arrested had Alex Acosta oh, I'm so, not... Hold on, you're, you're misleading people as usual. Be a persona non grata in Washington. You right have now. to look at the... Pre you have to... Washington is a big place. You have to look at the... Well, you have right, to look at the right, president's right, tweets. Have you, guys you have to look, to look at the president's tweets. Him. The president's made very clear the way he feels about the ambassador in those comments and the way he felt about how Brexit was handled. I mean, it looks like we're on the precipice of having a brand new prime minister. Um, I think Theresa May's last day was basically as we were leaving the UK last month. And uh, we'll leave it to the British government, whom the British electorate, whom they put forward as their next prime minister. I think it's obvious who it's going to be, but I'll, I'll let them decide. Um, I'm saying to a lot of people who thought it was obvious Hillary Clinton would be elected, so I'll leave it to the will of the people, as I hope you will do next election. Well, I don't think you are. Are they invited to the White House, Kellyanne?